Good morning, YouTubers. T Square here with T Square Talk. So today ended up getting a text message from a buddy of mine who does a lot with fishing. Uh, he's a fishing guide. Asked me if I had any eggs. H said he had some fish for me. Um, so I'm bringing him over some eggs and gonna get some fish. Okay, so I already bagged up a bunch of the fish, um, the actual tenders or or the fillets, I guess you call them. I bagged up that. I'm not a fishing person. Um, but I do like to cook a lot, like to prepare my own food a lot. I kept this one because this has the skin still on it. So I'm going to use this one first. I'm not going to freeze this one. The fillets I ended up putting in the freezer. So let's get this uh, popped open. We're going to actually cook this in the oven today. We're going to season it up, put it on a cookie sheet. And now uh, let's get started. Boy, that's a nice piece of fish. It's going to make a good lunch. We're going to season this up and pull it in the oven okay so the first thing I did put some aluminum foil down on the pan um, and then because this has skin on it um, it's kinda gonna protect the fish from sticking so I'm not gonna eat the skin anyway so um, I'm gonna start off but I did also spray the pan just to make sure I to avoid sticking and stuff I'm gonna start off um, with some smoked chili um, and sea salt and this is going to be fresh grounded, so it was real cheap. It was only three, four bucks. So it's part of my uh, seasoning kit. When uh, I always pick up extra seasoning when it's on sale for just this reason, because you never n really know what you'll need. As you can see here, I am an extreme uh, person when it comes to McCormick's. Um, McCormick is my favorite seasoning brand. Um, I literally have every one of their products. So... Let's get started and put some of this stuff on. Now, the next thing I'm going to put on, I'm going to put on some of this roasted garlic and herb. We'll sprinkle that on. And then I'm going to put on a little bit of, this is a um, Cajun seasoning. I really like it. It has a nice kick to it. And then I'm also going to put on some just Italian mix. Um, so we're going to get those sprinkled on here. Now I am going to drizzle on um, some extra virgin olive oil. This uh, this particular one I actually picked up at the dollar store for a dollar. It's not that bad. It tastes pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to put some of that on there too. And the last thing I'm going to sprinkle on a little extra um, garlic salt. Uh, I like this. It has a good garlic flavor to it. Um, kind of salty. I like salt too, unfortunately raise my high blood pressure but let's put a little garlic salt and let's put the oven we're preheating the oven right now at 400 and then we're going to put this bad boy in now we get the oven preheating and now if you've been following the channel for any lengthy time you know that uh we've been talking a lot about uh homesteading prepping finance um and basically how to get through what's actually going on right now so if it's your first video that you've watched hit that subscribe button and you can stay with us through this whole quarantine lockdown time period um we, we put out a lot of good tips to kind of help pe get people through it you know fishing fishing is a great any kind of being able to forage for your own food um a little bit is going to give you an extreme edge um like this fish right here i just pretty much traded for eggs so i mean you know i know not everybody has chickens and it's a little late in the game now to start raising the chickens um to be able to get eggs from it however um down the road this this is kind of a good eye opener for people i believe and kind of help people realize because it doesn't it's not always going to be a virus or a contagious disease like this the next time it could just be a hurricane a bad storm a tornado um, these are things that you know that we talk about preparing a lot for um, we do a lot of cooking videos we do a, a pretty wide range of different videos um, for our subscriber base um, that way we kind of touch on what people want to see if there's something that you kind of want to know about um, I can either bring in someone that really knows about it or I may already know about it you know we keep in touch we've got groups set up to kind of help people get through this type of stuff so definitely um, 
Leave a comment below. Tell me any ideas of stuff that you'd like to see. If you have any questions, leave questions in there. I reply back to all the comments. So with that being said, guys, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Most importantly, I love reading y'all's comments. So I'm going to put this in the oven and we'll be back. So this is already starting to look delicious. Um, I can't wait to pull this out. Fish cooks relatively quick at 400. Um, at 400 degrees, it's probably only going to take roughly, I don't know, 15 minutes maybe. So this is going to be quick. So I'll see you guys again in a few. Now I'm really getting hungry. That is looking so good. So this was in here for about 20 minutes. This is just simple. This looks delicious. Let's get this plated up on a plate and I will show you guys how good this is. Now for anybody that don't know, when it starts flaking like this and breaking apart, that's when you know 100% that you are good and it is done. I know a lot of people have never done cooking before. We do different levels of recipes. This is just a simple one. Um, just for what's going on right now, people kind of that may not cook often um kind of need to know just how to cook the basics how to get stuff um going and so let's put this on a plate and there it is my first official meal of quarantine um we'll see how quarantine goes and uh we'll see how many more great recipes we can put out for you guys this was a simple simple recipe simple to go out and catch yourself uh if you know someone that's a fisherman you can trade if you've got some extra stuff on hand um so stay with me and we'll show you guys some more recipes please leave me a comment below and uh, hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hopefully i'll see you on one of our live streams one evening and oh one more note um also, if you can, hit that bell for notifications. Um, that way you don't miss any of our great updates. So, And we'll see you guys again on T-Square Talk. Take care, guys.